following podcast is brought to you by Fuse 4 Network. Head over to Fuse4Network.com for more awesome content. This episode of Fuse Dudes is brought to you by Podbean.com, Tumblr.com, FutureShop, Audible.com, and PopCat Games. This is Fuse Dudes episode number four for Tuesday, March 29th, 2011, with your hosts, Matub, Spence, Hero of Lemon, and Helmu. Hey everybody, Matt here, Beaton Kong, Matub, and welcome to episode four of Fuse Dudes. It is Tuesday, March 29th, and it is not Friday, Friday, Friday. Thank God. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see what I did there? We're current. <laughs> ah. As always with me, I have the wonderful Johnny Handjob, a.k.a. Smell Moo. What's up? Stupidly fat. Yes, he is. We have Mr. Spencer Blade 12 or 14 or whatever. <laughs> so many names and <laughs> few of them are safe for work. <laughs> and not really paying attention and playing Robot Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> is Hero 11 Patrick. What's up? It's fucking Tuesday. <laughs> it's fun. So I made the mistake of telling uh, Hero of Lemon that... Uh, robot unicorn attack is on Facebook, and he immediately went over there. <laughs> Wait, you didn't know? To... No. Yeah, no the know. whole school was playing Everyone it for like three it. months. No, 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 on Facebook. Yeah, on yes, Facebook. on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, no, well, when it see, first we... came out, it wasn't on Facebook. That's the it was only on AdultSwim.com. I know, but it's yeah. been on Facebook for like a long time. Well, you know yeah. what? I played it for five minutes and then quit. Well, you, you know what, Patrick? You need to open your eyes. And <laughs> see... Your eyes are open. When no disguise. Hey, that last Fuck one kind of sounded like I was going for uh, like Wayne Newton, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Saying Wayne Newton live. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, besides Robot Unicorn Attack, what do you guys have been uh, doing? Uh, well, I, <laughs> I, I didn't know if uh, Fatty was going to talk for a second, but um... whoa, fuck you! Go Ooh, ahead. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Um. Just today, I got WWE All Stars, which came out just today. Just today, just today, just, just today? today, just today, just today. It's not Friday; it's Tuesday, fucking Tuesday. Anyway, whoa, oh, bro, calm down, son. You know, Let's try to watch yeah. a language. Yeah, yeah, this is a uh, family religious friend. podcast. Yeah, this is a fucking <laughs> religious podcast. <show. laughs> <laughs> we praise Jesus on this podcast. This is Thank a poop you. and sexy podcast. It does. It be is your filthy language. Yeah. So you've been playing WWE All Stars. Yeah. Is it as good as the demo? It's pretty good, and they have a lot of modes. Like, I mean, it feels still feels like a wrestling game, but it's just over the top with all the friggin' combos you can do. Yeah. So is it like, um, I mean, is is it like, uh, was it Legends of WrestleMania, but without all the stupid quick time events? Pretty much, yeah. It's got the stories, like it kind of shows the greatest achievements of every wrestler, and then it brings them together to fight. But that's about it. Well, because like I I have the demo, and the demo's tons of fun, but there have been games. Where the demo's been awesome, but the game is not great. Like, for example, the uh, the UFC games. Oh, God. Where the demos are always tons of fun, and you can yeah, play for hours. And then, you, and then you get to the game, and you're like, it's the exact same thing, but just with more characters. Well, here's what I, here's what I think. <laughs> what you should do is, um, if you're still skeptical and don't think you, you might not like it, you have doubts, you should rent it first. That's what you do for every game. I just went not out and bought it. true. But... I bought Bulletstorm flat out. But and that was definitely no regrets right there, at least in my opinion. It was it was awesome. Uh, I don't know if it, if the 60 bucks was worth well, the, yeah. the only 10 hours I put into it. Yeah, I, I want to play the multiplayer. I've never touched the multiplayer. The multiplayer is, it's like, um, what's that one in Halo? Uh, Firefight? Which one? Firefight. Firefight, yeah. Or ODST or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like Nazi zombies or whatever. But it's, uh, the thing is, is, the the connections are bad. I I'd say one out of five games, um, it, I have a good connection, and I think that's because I'm host. But those other four times, there will actually be a warning on my screen that says "bad connection." Wow. Well, I'm not gonna lie, tub. Like I actually found a few good games myself, but you did. Well, yeah, I got into like maybe three good games on my first tries. Well, good for you. Have a fucking cookie next person, Tony. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, kick to the balls, man. Ah. Yeah. Don't undermine me, infused dudes. <laughs> I am the dude. The dude abides. No, no, don't. Shush. Sorry. I, I, I am actually... Did you know I'm an ordained dudist priest? Oh, oh yeah. God, please. Yeah, I'm serious. Uh, Dudism, uh, the, the uh, Lowski religion, is a real religion. Oh, well, nice to join it. 
That's Best movie I, ever. I would join it, but I'm already joining the Jedi religion. Yeah, likewise, likewise, right here. You know, um, yeah. Jedi is the fourth largest religion in the UK. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, nice. In their, la- the in their last census, um, 340,000 people listed Jedi as their write in religion. We hailed so, the Jabba the Hutt. Well, so now um, Jedi is a recognized religion in the UK. Hey, that's awesome. That's, now it just needs to be over here. Yeah. I, it's totally boss. Um, actually, have you guys ever heard of the Universal Life Church? Oh, they were talking all about it before, I think, or was it something like that? Well, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm also ordained in the Universal Life Church. Jesus Christ, Jesus! Um, it's it's, and they actually used to um get like give out diplomas for degrees, and you could study to be any title, like as long as you paid, like you could yeah. be a cardinal or a priest or a father, or, and one of them was Jedi Knight. Oh, oh and that, it cost like twenty bucks, and they gave That's you this awesome this like book to read and you had to take a test but i think they got sued by lucas hearts oh, oh because i went on their website not too long ago because i was i was like i have 20 bucks to spare i think it would be cool to be able to legally sign my taxes as jedi knight reverend <laughs> <Matub."> <laughs> <laughs> but, reverend uh, jedi Matub. that's pretty, yeah, pretty exactly. cool would it be jedi reverend or reverend jedi i think it'd be uh, reverend, jedi. It yeah, sounds, reverend jedi it rolls off I've the always, tongue better well i've always wondered what, what like reverend doctor Doctor Reverend? No, that's I don't, I don't know. know. That, that... Okay, because Martin Luther King Jr. was a Reverend and a Doctor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. So it was was a Reverend Doctor King or Doctor Reverend King? I think it was Reverend Doctor King. Reverend Doctor. Okay, Reverend Doctor. So anyway, yeah. well then I would say Reverend Jedi Matub. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that would be I awesome to be able to died. put that like on your taxes, like legally. Reverend Jedi Matub. <laughs> awesome sauce. They anyway, I send a back to you like. The fuck is this? <laughs> you trying to bullshit us? Well, you know there was a guy that legally changed his name to Kiss My Ass. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, was it like Kiss My Ass, or was it just yeah, like... th- three names? There's... Kiss My Ass. Oh, nice. And I mean, his name was like Mike or something, and he still went by Mike, but he just did it so he could sign checks and his taxes and say so Kiss My Ass. Yeah, and contracts and like. Hey, I'm Matt. I'm Matt. I'm Mike, but you can kiss my ass. Uh, anyway, we digress. Tony. Yes. Uh, Minecraft. That's about it. Uh, yeah, we yeah. tried. We tried getting into multiplayer. We, uh, you guys, dragged me into uh, multiplayer Minecraft, kicking and screaming. Yeah. And we've yep. been uh, another podcast. What, what's the name of that podcast? Shaftlands. Shaftlands. Oh, well, that's the name of the the server. Is that their podcast? The Shaft podcast. I don't yeah. know. So anyway, it's a podcast Terrorist. about Minecraft, and these guys got me whitelisted on their server. And as soon as I joined the server, people start burning the entire thing oh. down. There was like yeah. a double rainbow that got burned down. Yeah. Well, that's what you get when you make your entire world out of wood and cloth. And <laughs> yeah, and then I burnt down Candyland. That was the <laughs> time tyler here burnt down a whole village on so Act- i burned Star- one building and you burned the rest of it but my tub burnt <laughs> half double rainbow i did not burn the double rainbow <laughs> don't, you don't need to hide from the truth okay i was staying okay here's what's up they made this double rainbow out of cloth like colored cloth Whoa, in my- yeah. and it, yeah. it was cool it was huge i mean it was about the size of a rainbow would be in real life and uh the night that I logged on and everybody was burning down half the server and Colleagues. people were logging on and crying and saying that they quit Minecraft. I happened to glance over at the double rainbow and someone placed lava <laughs> and and they they uh, led a bunch of wood blocks up to it. Oh. And the lava burned down the, the double rainbow. And I was just standing there and me and these two other guys were looking at it. And all of a sudden, Patrick's like, but Dub did it! Oh my God! <laughs> you, the double rainbow. All right, I have to say this. I have to interrupt you because I just got forty-five thousand in one try. Oh. Just want to put that. Out. <laughs> You're still playing Robot Unicorn. Yeah, I got caught up in it. I don't know. You got forty-five thousand in one dream. Yeah, I don't know. Twenty I, bucks says you don't break a hundred k. Well, listen. I found out the trick is if you if you don't miss those things, the the death thing. Yeah, the the dash ones. Those are those are worth a lot of points. Yeah, yeah they accumulate by a thousand every time. A hundred, yeah. no, a hundred, but but yeah, I got it up to two thousand two hundred. It was just going up by oh. two thousand two hundred every time I hit one. Yeah, well, I I bet you twenty bucks you don't break a hundred k. Well, you're probably right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Tony, yeah, <laughs> besides Minecraft, Jeez, what are you been up to? Well, 
to add on to the Minecraft thing, I played this mod called Zombie Craft. Oh, I played that too. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the mod for uh, basically it's uh, Nazi zombies in Minecraft. No, and yeah, it's like shotguns. Yeah, there's shotguns. There's it's it's like it's like call, it's like World at War's. It's like World at War, but it's Minecraft. Oh, man, got gotta, all right, I'm gonna send that money to Dave tonight, and he's setting up the server. And we're gonna, we're gonna play have that. videos. Actually, yeah, we're gonna I'm not it. sure. I don't know if you can actually have that set up as a um, SMP server, like the actual map for uh, Zombiecraft. I don't yeah, know you, you can. can. You can. Oh, you can. I was watching a video about it on YouTube, and the guy said he was. Oh. I think it was like, it was one of the Call of Duty people. Captain Sparkles. Yeah, I think it was Captain Sparkles. Oh, at home. Who's no? His old his old name was better. <laughs> it was Pros Don't Talk Shit. <laughs> Remember that? that? Is her name. That, like, and then he changed it to Captain Sparkles, and he got crazy popular because C Nanners like- liked his name and would plug him all the time because he was like Captain Sparkles. <laughs> 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 Because to me, C. Nanners, when he laughs, he sounds like Dr. Hibbert on the scene. <laughs> oh, we are funny. Okay. No, we are. All right. So, Tony no can play lemon. Minecraft. Yep. I've, I've Nobody's played... talking to you, Patrick. Okay. I'll just kill myself then. <laughs> hey, man, that's Spence's department. That's oh. Oh. oh, Spence, you're always the guy that's like, fine, I'll just fucking kill myself. I only yeah, got that from Patrick. That. Yeah, he stole that from me because everyone steals all their jokes from me. You asshole. <laughs> Whoa, calm down, Chief. So, oh, it's Captain. <laughs> it's Captain. So, guys, I uh, I hate to tell you this, but you're gay. I'm sorry. No, oh. the uh, the fat cast may be no more in a couple months. Bullshit. I ass. You're not losing weight. I am on a diet. Fuck. I am exercising. No. You're still gonna be fat, but time doesn't matter. I, I'll always be fat at heart. No, you you still be fat. <laughs> All right, let's be honest. This this losing weight thing is only gonna last like a week. You're gonna get tired of it because <laughs> you're gonna is, gonna. is it gonna be like Shay loss? Shay oh, loss no. that? for a day. And you'd be like, no. oh. what is Shay loss? No, you're, you're lucky Dave's no. not here to explain this one. He'd be going yeah, <laughs> off on a tangent. Okay, yeah. it's something to do with Shay Carl, so we're not gonna yes. talk about it. Yeah, no. Exactly. So basically, it's it's part of part of what you guys said. Like you said, like. I looked at myself on one of the videos I just made, and I was like, yeah, I'm gaining weight, and it's, it's starting to show on my face. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm tired of being tired of being fat. Horatio Sands. Really? I yeah. can't imagine you not fat. Oh, dude, when I was a kid, I was skinny and blonde. I looked like Macaulay Culkin. When you were 12? Yeah, I know. I saw the baby are. picture. You. What's gotcha. that? When you, were, when you were 12, which you still are? Yeah, I look like I'm 12. We get oh, yeah. it. Okay, good, good. Uh, no, and tomorrow I'm cutting my hair, so no more Bieber sweep. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know. Oh, no I'm more just, Horatio Sands. No, no more Horatio Sands. I'm, uh, no. I'm changing, guys. The times, Terrible. they are a change. Listen, I, can I... Please don't cut your hair. Intervention, please. intervention. I'll pay you not to cut your hair. Yeah. Really, I'm serious. Don't fucking cut it. Actually, I am paying you. I'm technically paying you not to cut. Yeah. I'll, I'll pay Let's for your hush. Minecraft. Uh, you'll, pay for my, you'll, oh. you'll pay for my Minecraft costs. Yeah, because Dave says he needs $5 from you if you want to be on yeah. our Minecraft We'll take server. you I'll in no for, matter what your hair looks like. I'll pay your $5 fee, entry fee, or Minecraft server <laughs> if you don't cut your hair. I'm cutting it tomorrow. Oh, then I'm not shit. paying your $5. Oh, ass. Yeah. Magic 8-Ball! <laughs> <laughs> Should my tub cut his hair? Answer no. Most Did likely, God damn it. Magic... Yeah, I, heard I, was, a, I, heard I bought a magic eight ball on my trip. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have it right here. All right, no, Spence, you don't shake the eight ball because that causes it to foam up. You turn it upside down and then you turn it right side up. I was just doing that Weird. for dramatic effect. All right, so yes, ask the magic eight ball. Should I cut my hair tomorrow? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do oh, it. Now, don't now fuck... it's saying its reply is no. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Okay, you got a no. big dramatic ask. Oh, magic eight ball! Oh, that's gay. Yes, gay. No, Fuck it's a- you. Oh, <laughs> should be tub cut his hair tomorrow. Tomorrow. Better not tell you now. Oh. What? <laughs> what does that mean? So I think that means yes, and it's the eight ball screwing eight, with me the, right now. The eight ball doesn't want to make Patrick mad. What the fuck? So it's you gonna tell. It's gonna Patrick tell me yes mad? later when, when Patrick's not around. Yeah. Yes. It wants no, to make you mad. You asked if it was making Patrick mad. Oh, you mad, bro? You mad? <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. Magic 8-Ball, you mad, bro? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we all digress on that one. All right, so you're not going to ask me what I did, right? Well, besides robot like, unicorn attack, what are you doing? Well, I played through uh, a little game I like to call Bone Saw because that's what it's called. Bone Saw is ready. I don't think I've ever played Bone Saw. It's awesome. Go download it. Seriously, but I did a whole let's play of it, and I got all the all the collectibles, and yeah, and I have to up that independent two D side scroller. It's a beat 'em up slash side scroller oh, it, it, slash amazing. platformer, and it's hard. That's what she said. Oh, how about this? How about this? Since I'm paying your five dollars for the Minecraft, uh, you have to do a let's play of it. All right, cool. When are you gonna do your Super Mario Bros. X let's play? I'm. I, I still have to upload part one and two. <laughs> <laughs> I get bones on out of the way first, dude. You know what I'm thinking about doing next? What? Peggle. Peggle. Oh, Peggle. oh man, oh. so fun! I played that. I played both of the games last year. Well, I, like, I got so wrapped up in Peggle for a while. Here's the thing: I'm really good at Peggle. Yeah, I, I am. Too. I have it on every uh, possible. You have it on Xbox. Okay, here's what's up. I originally got Peggle on my phone, my Verizon NV2. What the hell? Yeah, Peggle was available as a game back then. What the f- And then I got it on my computer when I downloaded, I think it was Orange Box or something. I got like that, the special Half-Life yeah. 2 version. And then I got it on my Xbox. And then I got it on my iPod. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And if if it's out for Android, I will buy it on Android. I love Peggle so much. And I found out that remember how Bejeweled was added to WoW? Yeah. Well, no, but I'll go with it. Okay, well, Bejeweled was added to WoW back when I played, which was oh. a while ago because I quit when patch 3.1 came out. So that's a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, so about Almost two years ago, Bejeweled was added to WoW, and it was like an add-on, and it would pop up like when you died. So you'd be in a raid and be like, waiting for res, and then be playing Bejeweled. <laughs> <laughs> or if you were a hunter, you would just go on auto shot and play Bejeweled during a fight. <laughs> but, um, wow. And then it turns out right after I quit, uh, they added Peggle. As no. Oh. So the two most addicting things in my life were together. Thank God I got out of that alive. Yeah, you would have been done. But yeah, dude, I love Peggle, and I'm thinking about doing a... Because um, my sister mentioned that she she's like, you should do some Connect Games Let's Plays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be so All right. hard. That's, that's how you're losing your weight. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't own a Connect. <laughs> then why would she ask it? No, because yeah. she, she has a connect and she brought it when she was in town. Then you then ask her, like, okay, I'll do a let's yeah, play. Yeah, but I bet you don't have enough room where you are to play it, do you? I do. In in my living room, dude, we have so much room. Like, you can be eight feet away from the TV and then there's six or seven feet on either side. Oh, wow. Like, it's the perfect amount of room for the connect. And I was like, okay, so I have this DVR, but then I would also have to, like, record myself and do a picture in picture thing. Oh. And the render times on videos like that are just so long that I wouldn't have the patience. Yeah, I already don't have time for the for the HD stuff. It takes so long. I don't to know render. how I have the patience to upload those ridiculously large Minecraft files. How do you? Oh man, I I render in Windows Movie, Windows whatever WMV. Yeah. Because if I don't render in that, my files are so big, and I just I can't wait for the the upload. Yeah, I know. I'm the but same way. Like 10 minutes of WMV video only takes about 8 or 9 minutes to upload to YouTube. Well, I use Camtasia and I just render it through there. Yeah, and dude. Okay. MP4, I guess. No, render WMV. Oh, are you using a Mac? I don't know. I'm not using a Mac, no. Yeah, render to WMV, go to custom settings. Yeah. And then render to WMV with whatever uh, size you want. Yeah, and the render time will be about the same. It might actually be a little bit less, but your upload time will be cut in half. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's that's the problem with trying to do it with fucking um, screen flow. Is when you when you do all the rendering and everything's done, the files are still like like I had this one time. Gigs. I, was, I was I had this. They're gigs. Yeah, they're gigs long. It's like that I had this, sucks. this one time. I had this 19 minute video and I couldn't upload it. But I looked at how much it, how big it was. It was damn near two gigs. Okay, just but to upload it. So my um. Hang on, let me let me pull up 
my my Super Mario Bros. X Let's Play that I'm doing. Yeah. You know how my not the video I just put up, but the one before that was in HD. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's see uh, how big the file was. The files just it's ridiculous. it's eleven eleven minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. hundred and three megabytes. That's not oh, bad. Not Mine bad. are like six hundred no, megabytes. No, I gotta check because um, <laughs> let me see. Yeah. No, my most recent one that's twelve minutes though, and I changed the the settings so it's not HD, but the actual picture quality was better. It's two hundred twenty four megabytes for twelve minutes of DVD quality. So WMV is currently my favorite um thing, but also to everybody out there that that renders anything, I'm talking graphics, whatever. Here is the biggest tip I can give you. There's a program called Game Booster. Um, I think they're on yeah. they're on Game Booster. 2.5 or something like that now. What the hell is it? Game Booster is um, it's exactly what it says. It boosts your performance on a game. Um, it's, okay, I have Game Booster uh, 2.3. What does it do, JB? Okay, what it does is it finds background applications and, yeah. and anything it can turn off, it turns off. Yeah. So right now mine is turning off 27 services and apps. And it is defragmented 100 megabytes of RAM. There you go. And no, then no, it, we used it, to use that. Yeah, it, me, yeah me and Spence ha- used to use that when we, before, when we were internet noobs and we played fucking uh, combat arms. Oh, that's, yeah. why yeah. would you play that? All right, th- there's a, a whole story. story. Yeah. But, so, so anyway, it, all also right, has, well. it also tells you about your, it tells you about your CPU usage, how much RAM you're using. And basically, it makes your computer faster. Like yeah, and it. so I always turn Game Booster on before I render something just to clean out anything that's running. That's a good tip. Yeah, and it, it'll it'll lower your render times. And also, if you're playing full screen video and the video kind of lags, Game Booster will help with that too. Ooh. So yes, Fuse These dudes, li- Fuse awesome dudes listeners. Oh yeah, Fuse dudes listeners. I will. Um, I'll put that in the show notes. I'll put a download link on. So if you go to fusefornetwork.com, I'll post a download link to uh, Game Booster. Um, yeah. So uh, this weekend, this weekend I'm going over to Flint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And for my, I have a pretty big family, and we're doing April birthdays. Oh. Oh man. And it's about seven hours round trip. So I don't really have the patience to sit in a car for seven hours. No. But I do it all the time. I mean. Uh, when I used to go to Michigan Tech, it was eight and a half hours one way. Um, but you know what? What helps me <laughs> is uh, audiobooks. Yeah. And then you sound totally smart, like doing it, <laughs> like I'm because smart. because you can quote book because it's like listening to a podcast or something. But it's with, a book. Yeah, but it's a book. So then you can be like, well, you know, in the newest James Patterson, I believe that the plot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the newest James Patterson <laughs> book. Yeah. And then people are like, yeah, dude, that's I totally agree. When yeah. did you read it? And be like, oh, you know, I just did it over the weekend. Oh, <laughs> shallow and pedantic. Yeah. I read a 6,000 page book over the weekend. Most, I'm good like that. The most oh. recent audiobook I've listened to is um, George Bush's Decision Points. And before oh, that, I listened I to. to uh, fucking listen to <laughs> before that, I listened to Bruce Campbell's book. <laughs> uh, I, I completely forgot the name of it. It was like. How to make love the Bruce Campbell way? <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Wait, Bruce Campbell, the George Bush oh, one. Did fuck. I bring up that interesting point about human beings and fish coexisting? Jesus Christ. Um, what? Do you not remember the the great speech? Um, I believe oh, that yeah. human beings and fish can coexist peacefully. Yeah. No, but you know what my current favorite audio book is? Is uh, I'm America and so can you? Yeah. By uh, Stephen Colbert. Yeah, because it's Colbert. actually the audiobook is better than the actual book. Oh, really? Because it's read by Stephen Colbert. Oh, yeah, and, that'll definitely make it better. And some of the cast from like Strangers with Candy and Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. And so it's it's honestly like there's there's this one part where he's making fun of old people. <laughs> And he's like, I'm talking low so the seniors can't hear us. You are the best <laughs> generation. There, I think they're going to be busy for a while. <laughs> and he goes, he's like, ARP isn't a, isn't a something that you should join. It sounds like an old man getting up from a beanbag chair. <laughs> oh, man. oh, that's oh, funny. Bears awesome. Uh, but yeah, like, 
Um, what I've recently been listening to is Who's Your Caddy? What? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Um, hang on, let me let me look up the. Just please don't tell me it's a Tiger Woods book. Oh, no, cool. it's it's about golf. Uh, um, wow. It came out in like 2006. Was it 06? I thought it was. I don't know. I'm just taking a guess. <laughs> it was like it was like 04 or something like that. Because Phil Mickelson hadn't won a major yet, um, and Tiger Woods was still on the rise. Uh, anyway, so who's your, caddy, who's your caddy is written by Rick Riley. He used to write for Sports Illustrated. Oh. Came out in 04. No, sorry, 03. 03. 03. Um, narrated by Grover Gardner. Dude has an awesome voice. And basically, dude goes around and he caddies for all different types of golfers. Yeah. He caddies for Jack Nicholas at a course opening. He mm-hmm. does it for uh, an LPGA professional. He caddies at the Masters. Um, he caddies for all these different, and he even caddies for John Daly, which is probably my favorite chapter. Um, and on uh, a trip up to up to Tech, uh, my buddy Chaz and I—I I know I talk about Chaz. <laughs> oh my! Head God. life, mate. Go ahead. Yes, we, we listened to that all the way up, and uh, and there's parts of the book that we still quote, like <laughs> John Daly flashed his dong at Rick. <laughs> And and the the audio kind of cuts out for a second. And there's like a long pause, and then all of a sudden it cuts back in, and he goes, "When a man shows you his penis, it breaks down a lot of emotional barriers." <laughs> you know what? This Jesus. makes me this makes me have a thought. Magic eight ball. Should we have? Should we, whoa! What's with the echo? Whoa! Should we have whoa. penis? What? What? <laughs> echo? What's echo? Should we have okay. Chaz Irwin on Fuse Dudes? Don't don't fuck with me, eight ball. Don't you dare say very doubtful to me. This is Chaz we're talking about. There you go. Most Chaz? likely. Now that's an answer. Oh, oh most likely. Okay. Chaz works at Radio Shack and he can't get himself a mic. So I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, we'll, this we'll, weekend we'll make it work. We'll make it work. This weekend I'm gonna probably go into Radio Shack since I'm gonna be in town, and I'm gonna pick up a microphone and just beat him with it until he buys it. <laughs> Three, one, two, suits. But yeah, audiobooks are awesome. What else were we talking about? Um, Nothing. I don't know. We're off on a bunch of tangents. Yeah. I know, but we that's kinda, fuse we're, dudes, we're man. All over this, the place, man. This is the podcast for people with ADD. Because this this is what we're like, though. Like <laughs> <laughs> we're not. If we recorded all of our conversations, they would all be episodes of Fuse Dudes. Like, yeah, we, we should do that more often. Just have yeah, somebody sure. randomly recording without anybody realizing. Yeah. Oh, I do that all the time. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, he does. It's for blackmail purposes. Yeah. You know what'd be better is if Dave McCauley was here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, what uh, the hell? He sends, uh, he sends the email, guy. For information on Dave, go to DaveMcCauley.com. <laughs> the most updated yes, blog in the history updated, of Tumblr. He has a regularly updated blog. Yeah. Which is updates uh, every day. His last update was um three months ago. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was three yeah. months ago. And that was his only update ever. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. and I love how it involved talking about the uh, changing of the page and how it looked. Oh yeah! Oh yeah. great, great organization, Dave. Great. Oh, did you guys know I finally made a Tumblr? We all I have one know. now. We all but have one. Tumblr dot com. I'm the last person to make. Oh no, Tony, you just no, made I am. One. Yeah, well, which so you should watch. You should see. You should see Tony's because it's yep. absolutely amazing. It is. It is. Should, we'll put it in the show notes. Yes. Absolutely. Show notes. I made Showing my out. before Dave made his. I had to tell the veteran. <laughs> <laughs> my sister, uh, I think, is the Tumblr veteran that I know. She's had one for a couple years. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I used to be... I mean, I was I was the guy that was against every social media when it first came out. Yeah, same here. I was, Friendster, that's dumb. MySpace, that's retarded. Facebook, that's retarded. retarded. Okay, but you guys know in its heyday, MySpace was the coolest thing. Oh, it was the shit. It was the shit. And then, I disagree. And then Facebook. Okay, I got a Facebook um, back when you still had to have a college um, email address to get it. I just happened to get a college email address my junior year of high school because I got accepted to Michigan Tech. Um, and so I made a uh, I made a Facebook and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> like, woohoo! And then and then Tumblr started to catch on. I'm like, that's just my space for hipsters. Herp to derp. Oh. derp. <laughs> and, then, and then I started looking at Tumblr and I was like, oh man, this is like people post creative things and funny things. And it's like I was like, man, this is like 
like what MySpace could be or should have been. It's never going to be. It's I mean it was everything that was awesome about Live Journal back in the day with infinite custom customization, customability, whatever. Yeah. I have a question. How is MySpace still alive? I don't know anyone that's still Because it MySpace. has ridiculous amounts of page views for some reason. And music. Yeah. Oh yeah, and music. Well. That's depressing. <laughs> Right. Okay, so I'm on I'm on Alexa. Do you know what Alexa is? Yeah, no. Wait, uh, no. how old is she? Ha ha. Ha ha. It's funny because it's talking about sex. Now, Alexa yeah. is a uh, website that tells you like website. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. It tells you your website views and stuff. Oh, all right. Okay, so traffic stats of MySpace. Um, Doesn't it give a ranking too? Like what? Yeah. MySpace has been on a steady decline. Ooh, yes. In the last three months, it's down 22.4%. Oh, oh awesome. Jesus. In the last day, it's been up 1%. <laughs> wow, Matt, that's that, that gives me an idea, Matt. Hardcore. What's the, um, what's the, what about Fuse4Network.com? Fuse4 Let's know. not check those stats. Let's not check the stats. <laughs> oh, come on. However, um, MySpace is the 40th most visited site in the U.S. What's the first? I don't know. What do you think? Google. I don't know. Google. 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 Okay. Google, here's, YouTube, or Facebook. Here's the top 10. It's a Google. The top 10 visited in the U.S., starting with number 10. Craigslist. Oh. Mm. Yeah. E- eBay. Yeah. Of course. Blogger.com. Oh. Oh. Twitter. What? Twitter is number seven. Oh. That's well, me. lucky. Wikipedia. Yeah, uh, that figures. Uh, Amazon is number five. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the top four. I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised by their order. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Number four, YouTube. Oh, what? Yeah, hang on. Number three, Yahoo. Bullshit. Oh, yes. Yeah, Yahoo outranks YouTube. Holy Apparently. Shit. Um, Facebook is number two. Yeah. What's number one? Google. And Google, of course. Yeah, there you go. go. There you go. I, I don't. Bing is number 14. Bing? <laughs> what? Oh, fuck Bing. Oh. Uh, AOL.com is number 17. Oh. What? AOL? Yep. Jeez, no. <laughs> but here's, here's, here's what is F. F. Netflix is number 20. Ugh. Netflix Jeez. is on the rise, my friends. Mm. Just not in Canada. Oh, <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. I hope. Let's see. Netflix is number 20, so that means the next thing it has to overtake is WordPress. It's got to be. Well, with blogger.com that high, I see WordPress going down. Yeah. Um, I'm amazed that AOL is ranked higher than ESPN. Jeez, um, I'm raised. I'm. I'm. Ugh, I can't talk. Never mind. And I think the only reason Bing is so high is because Internet Explorer, um, auto. Yeah, default. Yeah, it's gotta be. Who still uses Internet Explorer? Do you know how it's the most used internet browser? Still, really? especially since yeah. uh, oh, Internet God, Explorer so nine. Slow. Uh, nine nine yeah. is comparable to Firefox three point one. <laughs> Yeah, it is but, decidedly so. But I use Firefox. I think it's three six. Yeah, 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 and it's infinitely. <laughs> I faster. use Chrome. Yeah, Chrome. My Firefox. Firefox. My Firefox is faster than your Chrome. No, I it isn't. So as well, I will, I will take wrong. your. I will take your Chrome all day. All right, buddy. <laughs> because of Grease Monkey yeah, and AdBlock Plus, there is no website that will load faster in Chrome than will load faster in mine. Because I have every unnecessary script and load turned off. Yeah. Like, like all yeah. the useless bullshit does not load. And the Adblock Plus in Chrome is nowhere near as good as it is in in uh, Firefox. Still dead handy. Know? Why what? Wait, wait, how would you how did you know it's no nowhere near as good? Because I had Chrome on my netbook. Because I will I will say that, that Chrome takes far less system resources. And so yeah. Firefox is difficult to run on a netbook. Especially since I also have mine set so uh its cache goes to RAM. <laughs> yeah. And so if, if I don't have a RAM heavy computer, Firefox bogs down pretty bad. But um my Firefox will load f- out of the box, like stock, Chrome is faster, hands hands down. But due to the add-ons, Firefox overall, after you tinker with it, will be faster. You're right. And Without if you hate, 
If you hate I, me, send your hate to Matt if he's for I still hate right you. Now. Dude, I, I just installed the uh, the Grease Monkey. Yeah. Holy fuck. Pretty it's awesome, like right? You can not turn, even anything. You can turn off stuff. Um, yeah. I first got Grease Monkey back when, once again, MySpace was still in... In, uh, in the loop. Um, Wait, Tony, how'd you get that so fast? Because it's just, an add-on. You just yeah. got Grease Monkey. Oh. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Are you still playing Robot Unicorn Attack? Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm I'm doing so terrible at it now, but I'm like only getting eight thousand per thing because I'm trying to pay attention to you guys. But so there was a um a custom script for Grease Monkey called oh God, what was it? Um Well, I don't remember what it but it what it did is it got rid of all of MySpace's styling. So you go to the login screen, and it was just like two little boxes for your login information. Jesus. <laughs> it was like it was like MySpace for antisocial bastards or something like that. It was <laughs> awesome. And that's why I first got Grease Monkey, and I've been using it since. And this is Christ. five years later, almost four and a half years later, because that was – it was either mid or late um, 06 when I first started using Grease Monkey. Oh uh, man, good times. <laughs> good times, good times. I like the awkward silences. No, that's because I'm I'm reflecting, and while I'm reflecting, you guys are supposed to fill in the awkward silences. Maybe we're reflecting too. They will be filled that. in, believe me. Oh, I'll fill in your face with my fist. Whoa! Oh, I thought you were gonna say something else. I'm not <laughs> perverted like you guys are. Really? Yes. Yeah. Sure, you were talking about painting a girl's face earlier with your cum. Yeah, I know you caught talking. Yeah. About- Dave's sister. Dave's sister. I was being facetious. Facetious. Sounds like you were. Facetious. Yeah, that's what's up. Can you spell it for me? Facebo. Facetious. Go ahead. Um. (laughs) 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 I I don't have to spell. Um. Uh. uh, F a c e t i o u s. No. That is totally facetious. Facetious. Yeah, it's Facetious. All right, you got it. You win the spelling bee. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Flip and... That reminds me of... You guys ever see um, uh, My Fellow Americans? Oh. Nope. <laughs> well, it's this movie where the, these two ex-presidents are are uh, discovered... They discover this plot that this dude's trying to kill the president. Oh, it's yeah. actually... It's a comedy. It's um, Jack Lemon and... Uh, oh, Jack not, it's not Walter Matthau though. Like it's it's Jack Lemmon and, and some other guy. <laughs> Walter Cronkite. <laughs> and that's the way it was. Yeah. And no, that's the way the cookie, the, crumbles. the cookie crumbles. And that's the way the cookie. Crumbles. So anyway, uh, the vice president of the U.S. is the dad from Home Alone. Oh. Oh, my oh really? God. And uh, he's actually the one. Spoiler alert. I mean, this movie came out like 15 years ago. But <laughs> spoiler alert. He's the one that's trying to kill the president. <laughs> And he ends up becoming the president. Ah, oh, you fuck! And at the end, he goes. <laughs> he goes so at the end, he goes. Everyone thinks I'm this big idiot, but it's all just a big facade. <laughs> facade. And for the longest time, I didn't get it because I was like eight when that movie came out. But I was like, oh, facade. Ah, I get it. <laughs> ah, facade. Oh man. On that note, I think we should. We've been talking for a while. I think we should move over to sponsors. Mm. Should we? I don't know. Let's ask the Magic Eight Ball. Should we move on to sponsors? Magic Eight Ball? Should we? Without about? a doubt, he says. So let's do this. Magic Eight Ball says without a doubt. Well, first Eight of all, you folks would not be listening to this podcast if it wasn't for Podbean dot com. Of course not. Or Dave McCauley. Oh, <laughs> Dave McCauley. It's all about Podbean. It's all about fuck you. It's all about us. Podbean.com. Team up with the best. Podbean is the worldwide leader in providing personal and business podcasting services to different level of consumers, ranging from individual podcaster to corporations, from educational institutions and churches to real estate agents, musicians, sports clubs, travel agents, and municipalities. With millions of daily hits and exponential cons- customer growth, mm-hmm. Podbean is the hottest trend in the podcast revolution. If you are a website administrator, a fellow seller, hosting a fan site, or a casual web surfer, you can start earning big money today. Let Podbean's impeccable reputation work for you. Head over to podbean.com for more details. And also, there is a link at fuse network.com to set up your own Podbean account. That's correct. 
Oh, yeah? That will probably be in the show notes, because I know it was for the last podcast. That was tasty. <laughs> I know. And what, what, what? What, what's next? What, what, what are we talking about next? Probably, probably Tumblr.com. How do you spell that? T-U-M-B-L-R dot com. You no, know, I heard somewhere that if you put a bunch of consonants together without vowels, girls find it sexy. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And they got all kinds of consonants up in that bitch. I, I know they do. All right. So Tumblr lets you... Someone's flipping over the... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to copy Dave's laugh and the, like, he's just like... Tony can do it pretty well, I think. <laughs> That is a pretty good Dave McCauley laugh. Dave, <laughs> okay. Dave, okay. All right. So Tumblr lets you effortlessly share anything. Post text, photos, quotes, links, music, and videos from your browser, phone, desktop, Evo, or wherever you want to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there's Barney. You can customize everything from colors to your themes HTML. You got something up your nose? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Why don't you create a blog? <laughs> Turn your attention over to Tumblr. That's T-U-M-B-L-R dot com. <laughs> okay, Barney. Hey, excuse me. That was a really bad voice. You're a radio You're an announcer asshole. from the 50s, sir? I'm a, I'm a radio guy, yeah. <laughs> from the 50s. Terrible. <laughs> the aliens are invading. <laughs> the aliens are invading. <laughs> All right, what's, what's up? What's next? Tony, I think you got this. Awesome. You got oh, no, I do. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. No, I, I was sending an email yeah. to Matt at Fuse4Network.com because he pissed me off. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway. All right, next we have Future Shop. Future Shop and its more than 10,000 employees are dedicated to providing customers with expert advice in store and online. Future Shop offers the latest in home and entertainment products, including a wide selection of brand name televisions, computers, cameras, MP3 players, video games, music, movies, and appliances. And it's all backed by a low price guarantee. I don't like Future Shop because when I go there, I want to spend money and I don't really have much money to spend. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Because <laughs> it's like there's electronics and I'm, I like electronics. I want, mm-hmm. them, I want them all to be mine. Mine. Oh. mine. But oh. you know what will be mine? What? Not, Not Dave McCauley's sister. No. <laughs> Someday. All right. Someday. Dave's going to be pissed when he listens. <laughs> yeah. okay. He's going to edit all this out. Bro. No, but what, Just wait, not going to post it. What Do is, it. what will be fine? Podcap game. Podcap. Oh. Popcap uh, games. New sponsor. MF and Popcap games. I love you guys so much. Whoa. I'm going to name my first child Bejeweled Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> Bejeweled Blitz Matonich. Bejeweled Blitz Matonich. What's up? <laughs> And you know what? If my baby mama doesn't like it, whatever. I will yeah. kidnap my child and rename it Ritual Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> PopCap is one of the most original, defining companies in the casual gaming space online with over 30 titles and growing. Maybe you've heard of Bejeweled? Hmm? No. The, the nope. defining title of today's casual gaming phenomenon. That's the kind of creative and playful genius PopCap brings to the table across its puzzle, word, and arcade titles. Click on the link in the show notes for some amazing deals on PopCap titles. Oh. I'm clicking on that link right effing now. <laughs> I'm already click clicking the link. Oh, click. That's so true. Good. Click it's so good, baby. Whoa. Oh! 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 <laughs> remember Sorry. those audio books we were talking about earlier? I'm yeah, going to tell us. Books? Come on, Tony. Oh, yeah, get some great audio books. Oh, you, can, you can get those, uh, those great audio books at audible.com. Yeah. Audible.com is the largest online provider of digital audiobooks and audio entertainment. Audible has over 85,000 titles, including the best sellers in every genre. Audible content is, compa- is compatible with more than 500 MP3 players and can be downloaded directly to your iPhone and- or Android device through our mobile applications for listening anytime, anywhere. Click on the link in the show notes for a 14 free day trial. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Parts of that tickled my asshole in the most uncomfortable Whoa. way. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and also, I just found out I'm America, and so can you. As written by and narrated by Stephen Colbert, mm-hmm. is available on Audible.com. As oh. is Who's Your Caddy? Yes. For how so, much? What's that? How much? Uh, each are seven dollars and ninety five. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That smells good. Oh yeah, so good. But then using the the actual Audible 
software and whatnot. I think I'm going to put those right on my on my phone. That yeah. seems good. Because that mobile application. Yeah, dude, their mobile apps are they work. It'll sure as hell come in handy on that trip of yours. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah dude, I go back and forth from Flint a lot. A lot. I bet you do a lot. And so the best advice I can give you at the close of this fuse, dudes, if you go back and forth between Genesee County and Berrien County, listen to audiobooks. <laughs> and podcasts. And podcasts. Yeah, and that as well. Don't listen to podcasts. Should. Podcasts are dumb. Like, why do, why do people even Especially do this Especially this one. This yeah. is, wait, this is a Stupid. podcast? Yeah. I thought we were just Is talking. this a podcast, 8-Ball? Is it? No. No. Doubtful. No. Oh, thank God. Is this, everything. Did you ask the eight ball if this was a podcast? Of course I asked the eight ball. I asked him everything. What did it say? He said very doubtful, so I guess this was oh, a podcast. Oh, it is the you podcast. You are all fooled, and it's not even April Fool's. All right. Yet. We're just so, bullshitting for an hour. I know. It's, it's so just- everybody, in the show notes, you will find links to everything from audible.com to deals on PopCap games to the Fuse Force Twitter, blog, Facebook group, Steam group, Facebook channel, Facebook channel, YouTube, YouTube channel. <laughs> And you will find our Justin.tv streaming channel. Yeah. And also, we'll probably put our own crap in there because we're attention whores and like when you click our stuff. Oh, so you, if you guys have any, any questions for any of us or whatnot, send them to fans at Fuse4Network.com. Yes. Or don't. And if you hate me, send my hate mail to Matt at Fuse4Network.com. Oh, yeah. Send. <laughs> oh, don't send. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, let's uh, tell you what. Take it away, Patrick. Hey. 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 (laughs) Hey. I'm typing an email right now. Okay, Patrick. Don't take my joke, asshole. With me in the Fuse Dudes tonight was Mr. Hero of Lemon, Mr. Smellmoo, Mr. Spencer Blade 14. It's good to be a ginger. (laughs) And as always, I'm Matt. But you can call me Matub. And here's to wishing Dave McCauley could have joined.